guys, it's Candace back for another video and in today's video, this is a highly, highly requested video. We are doing a part two, baby. It is locker room survival tips, part dose. I have had so many emails and comments from you guys about the other locker room survival tips video that I did and a lot of you wanted a second video so I was like okay well I already talked about the basics of the locker room you know everything like that but what else could I do for this video so I think I got a little something something on my sleeve for you guys so without further ado here are your locker room survival tips part two so well, I want to start off this video with a disclaimer Okay, so going into the locker room is usually like middle school and high school times and I just want to let you guys know I know that a lot of you are going through bullying situations A lot of you are going through some really tough stuff in your life at such a young age To be honest, I didn't go through that in my life. Um, yeah, people said stuff about me because I was always chubby But now it's called thick. So who went in? Okay, okay <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but you know, I was always on the chubbier side and back in the day It was more trendy I guess to be skinny and your girl Latina I'm just not gonna be skinny. I eat way too many empanadas for that Okay, you know, they talked about my weight But to be honest with you my mom always raised me to not ever care what anybody said about you So the fact that I didn't give a fuck what anybody said about me it really made people not want to talk about me because I didn't give them any reaction. They'll be like, oh, you're chubby. They're okay, you're ugly. So many other things in life that you guys should be focused on at this age, you know, having fun, making friends, figuring out yourself, you know, what kind of likes you have, what kind of dislikes you have. Like, it's such a crucial, important age, these middle, middle school and teenage years. And just really take advantage of it, you guys. Have fun, you know, don't be so bogged down in, oh, what do people think about me? What are they saying about me? Because at the end of the day, they're never gonna write your paycheck, honey. So it doesn't matter. If they don't feed you, finance you, or you then don't pay them no mind. That's my life motto. All right, well now that the disclaimer is over, uh, real life is nothing like high school actually, which is probably the most surprising thing once you actually leave high school because high school is just like its own little world, you know, and everyone's so into themselves and into other people. And then you get onto the real world and Nobody cares about what you're doing, you know, like you're lucky if somebody comes up to you randomly to have a conversation Don't take it so serious you guys if high school is not your jam show off by making your adult life successful That's how I feel about it. Anyways, let me get into these locker room survival tips. Okay, so first tip This one is for my ladies probably even for some of my guys with long hair and you guys don't like your nipples, whatever. So somebody asked me how they would cover their boob section in the locker room because a lot of the girls on the cheerleading squad, they have big boobs, they make fun of her, you know. So my best suggestion for ladies to cover their boobs, if you have long hair, honey, why do you think I have it? Yes, so I can cover my boobs. <laughs> really why I have long hair but it is a perk of having long hair so whenever I used to, I've always had long hair ever since I was younger and whenever I used to change in the locker room I always did cover my nipples with my hair just because it's not like oh I'm covering my nipples with my hair but it's just you know like casually flip your hair to the front give it a little you know give it a little all you got to do is casually flip your hair to the front when you get in the locker room and, you know just give it a little fluff out just give it a little fluff out and touch your nips whatever you want it's your nipples girl if you want to touch them you touch them okay so that's my tip for covering your nips if you are a female that has long hair now another suggestion for covering your boobs and I guess your other private parts as well this could go for anybody is a lot of locker rooms actually have showers so if you guys go you take a shower or even if you don't take a shower you can just wrap the towel I grabbed a shirt so I can do some examples for you guys But basically you just wrap the towel around you You know what I'm saying like if you just took a shower whatever like on my boobs I got a little cleavage boob showing so the girls aren't going to talk any any smack So you'll have the towel like this on you and then you can just put your shirt on top and then you can slip the towel down around your waist that way you can cover your hoo-ha now ladies y'all want to figure out how to cover up that hoo-ha a lot of you ladies ask me how you can cover up your hoo-ha so let's talk about that covering up the lower section is a lot harder 
Why? Because most people have a larger lower section, especially at a younger age, than they do an upper section. What I used to do to cover my hoo-ha when I was changing in the locker room was I would put my shirt on first. All right, so act like my shirt is fully on. See how long my shirt is? So I always had, you know, a longer shirt. So I would put my long shirt, or even if I had my long shirt on from gym class, I would use that shirt. So you can use your long gym shirt, keep it on, and put your pants on first. All you have to do is put your pants on, and since your gym shirt is longer, it's gonna cover everything. So then you won't have to be worried about that. Now, some of the guys are asking about underwear types that they can wear. Obviously, I've never been in a men's locker room before, or have I? But y'all got a lot going on in the men's locker room, okay? Because the guys like to just, um, fling the towels at each other you know they whip around like this and smack each other on the butts I don't know why but guys really like to smack each other on the butts it's always been really questionable for me but to each his own so the guys they do walk around in their underwear in the locker room you know I asked my husband about it he said the same thing they'll walk around in their underwear a lot of guys will do the little towel butt slap whatever now for guys a lot of guys are actually insecure about their private parts so I definitely just want all my fellas to keep in mind, if you have an insecurity, the person that you think is looking at you probably has the same insecurity, if not an even bigger one. So that's definitely something you guys should always keep in mind. You know, people look at other people sometimes admiring them and not always criticizing or judging their body. So as far as underwear for you guys to wear, let me just say that I've gotten a lot of emails from you guys about different kinds of underwear, wearing different kinds of underwear, buying different kinds of underwear, whatnot. And a lot of you have said that you just haven't switched out of tidy whities because you haven't asked your parents to buy you the other underwear. And same thing for women. You know, a lot of you said that you wear the granny panties, but you want to wear thongs, but you just don't want to ask your parents. And as a mom, you guys, trust me, your parents are here to help you and to guide you through life. And we want to make your life as cushy as possible. Trust me. Like, if I could give my kids everything that they could ever ask for, I would give them everything. Your parents feel the same way about you. And there's so many times in my teenage life that I didn't talk to my mom and dad about stuff because I felt like maybe they would judge me or they would feel like I'm not... Uh, how can I put this? Maybe they would feel like I haven't been receptive to what they've taught me, like the morals that they've instilled in me, and now I'm asking this question that goes against what they taught me, you know, that kind of thing. But then as I got older, as an adult, and I started to talk to my parents more, I was like, dang, these people are really freaking cool. I wish I would have talked to them more when I was younger and I needed, you know, that adult-ish advice. So you guys go to your parents, ask them, you know, hey, mom and dad, I want to wear a thong. How do you feel? Hey, mom and dad, I want to wear boxer briefs instead of wearing tidy whities Is that cool? Can we go to Walmart? They're super cheap. Go to your parents, you guys. Like, they're such a great resource for you guys. And they're going to be a lot more receptive to you than you may think. Other locker room survival tips. I actually got a message from my last video where I was like, just go change in the bathroom. Yeah, well, apparently people hate that. So apparently people actually use the bathroom to go pee and poop after gym. And so people who are then standing in line and don't like when people go and get changed in the bathroom, especially when people take a really long time to get changed. So eh, I guess that was a little bit of bad advice for my past video. Comment me down below, guys. Any other locker room survival tips that you might have to get us through these? Mmm, fun time. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.